I have some things I want to talk about. One, I know you guys were talking about how the Dune movie was going to be delayed and then shortly after it was actually delayed. But I will say, I would rather have Dune come out next year than have it come out in December, have it now, but because of the pandemic, it does poorly in theaters and then we don't get the second part of book one or any future Dune movies. I feel like not a lot of people understand that the fate of the Duneverse being on the big screen is hinged on it doing well in theaters. The Dune 2020, which is now Dune 2021, which doesn't sound as cool, but whatever. Next, I know there was a lot of anger over the fact that Amazon's Lord of the Rings series is going to have sex and nudity, especially since elves aren't exactly known for being too sexually crazy. So if you're upset that they're going to show boobies, maybe maybe a penis or two, a, a vagina, um, I guess this is what I will say to you. There is a portion of the population, and this is going to sound really fucking weird, but they just watch shit for the boobies and sex. The storyline is just an excuse. Oh, I love the story, but really, it's the boobies. I can't tell you why this is. I don't know why these are magical to some people. Um, I guess they are fun to play with. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, we're fun to play with. Anyways, we need those people to pump up the numbers so those of us that just want nerd shit because we love nerd shit can have more nerd shit. So anyways, I'm really sorry if you're uh, upset about having nudity and sex in the Lord of the Rings Amazon TV series. Do you feel like to spice it up, Amazon's like, we need to have uh, a Gandalf with elves orgy. Just fucking elven dicks everywhere. Next, I did a news video on live action Spider-Verse, which seems to be happening with the third Spider-Man movie, obviously starring Tom Holland. It seems like they're pulling in Tobey Maguire and also that other guy that played live action um, Spider-Man after Toby, but before Tom. Now there are leaks and rumors that not only is Tobey Maguire going to be in Spider-Man 3, the, the Spider-Verse, but also he might get his own offshoot movie as well. I think having Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man in the, the Sony or MCU-verse officially, they're reality. Also, I feel like since Doctor Strange is in a lot of shows and every show he's involved in, he seems to be manipulating reality or doing multiverse madness. So it makes sense that the fact that Doctor Strange is going to be in Spider-Man 3 has a, a role in it that it's probably multiverse shenanigans, which means multiple spider man Sony, if you can do what was done with Into the Spider-Verse, the animated movie, with live action. I don't know. I'll say one less mean thing about you a week. Finally, Superman may exist in the Batman starring Robert Pattinson. So there have been a lot of leaks and apparently part of the Batman movie is going to take place during Halloween. There's going to be a Halloween party, there were a bunch of extras in costumes, and we saw Superman. Someone in a Superman costume. So that means one of three things. I'm sorry, I hit this uh, thing over there. It means one of three things. One. Superman maybe exists as a comic book superhero, and maybe even a movie was made in the Batman-verse, and Superman doesn't actually exist as a, a living being. Two, it's just a fun nod to Superman. It's a, a DC movie, so kind of like a wink nod Easter egg that it, it means nothing. Or Superman fucking exists in this verse, and please God, let the Flash through the Speed Force shenanigans replace Batflix with Pattinson. I will leave you with this. Uh, for what I want to talk about today. I'm not really enthused at all for The Eternals, even though it has some actors that I'm really looking forward to seeing in projects past Game of Thrones, like Kit Harington, Richard Madden. <sighs> Richard Madden. So anyways, I'm going to see it when it comes out, hopefully through streaming, not in theaters. Really hoping theaters, crossing my fingers, collapse, they're a, a rarity. Introvert, don't want to go outside, just stream it right in my house. I'll cuddle with my two cats. I'm good. <laughs>